One year after extremists attempted to hijack their celebration, today the North Idaho Pride Alliance returned to Coeur d'Alene City Park for its annual community event. Crim 2's Brandon T. Jones was there speaking with organizers and attendees to learn the true meaning of pride. It's incredible. It really is. This year's message at Pride in the Park is simple. Celebrating love. For those in attendance, that's always been the case. As booths set up and messages of affirmation started to grow, longtime North Idaho residents like Daniel Flowerdew say they're proud to see the community come together for events like that this. We're all people, that we all deserve love, we all deserve appreciation and gratitude, and that we all have struggles we're going through, and that we're not alone. In high school, Daniel would receive death threats for being a gay man. Now, being accepted for who he is, in the home he loves, means everything to him. No one's perfect. And if we talk with each other one-on-one, -on -one, like we have the opportunity to here, that's where the real change is. Organizers say this year's Pride in the Park brought in roughly 2,500 people. 20 more vendors were also in attendance and participating at the event. The growth and representation is something Kimber Mayfield believes is worth celebrating. And we didn't have all of this stuff growing up. And so now that I'm an adult and out here, I just want to give as much support to all of the communities that we can. The Silver Valley native spent the day passing out free pens and words with positive reminders. And although Kimber is excited to witness the growth, she believes there's still more work to be done. It's a major reason why she's helping bring in a pride festival to Wallace, Idaho, for only the second time in July. And so I refuse to sit down and let people not accept us. We are here and we will stay here and we are all about love. From Coeur d'Alene, Brandon T. Jones, Crim 2 News.